Hey everybody, here's another video for the day. Kind of a frosty morning, can't tell if you can really tell. 28 degrees this morning when we got up. So, my chicken feed ideas video got a lot of responses to it. Um, I haven't done a lot of the stuff like the duckweed. I was looking around for it locally, I haven't had any luck. So next spring I'm gonna buy it off of eBay or someplace. Um, so, but uh, uh, somebody by the name of Matt, Matt Tudong, uh, it's their YouTube channel, was talking to me about uh, black soldier flies. And it's something I've looked into in the past and just never got around to really trying it. They sent me a video for a, a garden pool, I think. I can't remember exactly the name of it. Anyways, these people in Arizona, they built a uh, greenhouse over their existing pool. Uh, used the pool for chickens and gardening and stuff like that instead of as a swimming pool. Uh, one of the, their videos, though, it, it had a 55-gallon drum, and they built a cart, and it was kind of at an angle like this is right now. Um, and on the front, they basically cut this top part out, and they, I think they were going to, they threw food in here. And then it also had a, like a rain gutter that came out of it. So I guess uh, black soldier flies like to climb up and out of the food and so uh, I've seen the fit, or five gallon drums and they have some kind of a hose that winds up and out and uh, but on uh, this particular video you know it had the, the guttering coming out and the black soldier fly they would climb up and out and drop into like a feeder trough for chickens my idea is kind of the same, but different. And this is where I could use your ideas and suggestions too, what you think would work. Uh, as you can tell, I already got a hole here. I was going to use this for uh, aquaponics. But I figured uh, barrel ponics, actually. Um, you can only hold a few uh, tilapia in there. So I'm going to switch to IBC's sometime I'm not sure when I'm gonna do it but uh, I was thinking about making this hole bigger right and I could just come out here and drop my coffee grounds and and stuff like that in here and then I probably have, a, have to have a hole down there at the bottom just or a couple holes for drainage and uh, maybe run that into some kind of a uh, kind of like a another tub and collect it and use it as a fertilizer for the garden um, or maybe use it from growing my duckweed uh, then uh, you know how this is a slant like uh, they had in that video but instead of having a opening down here and having the uh, uh, something for them to climb up right here why don't I just use this slant that's going up you know keep the compost somewhere around here this level maybe a little bit higher you know and then the, they just climb up and then either probably put like a some kind of a hole on the bottom someplace and they just climb up and drop out drop down on the bottom and either have it into like a trough for the chickens or you know I could put something else there uh, to, for collecting them that way it's less parts and maybe I could set this in my coop someplace. I need to, or my run, I need to make the, the, the run bigger since I got more chickens. So maybe I'll, I'll find a way to put it in the fence someplace. And I think that's pretty simple of an idea. It's one big hole here, drop food down, the larva climb up, and drop down. Maybe put some uh, things on the sides for cardboard where the 
they can come in and lay eggs. But uh, just an idea. Love to hear your comments. Until later, this is Josh.